Welcome everyone to the Economaki Press Conference Room for a very special announcement. Some very important individuals have joined us today. Dale Coyne, one of the stalwart owners of uh, IndyCars for a number of years, has been really one of the backbones of the series for as long as I can remember. Uh, obviously, Connor Daly comes off of just a splendid run at the uh, Angie's List Grand Prix of Indianapolis where he finished six, and I think he delighted a lot of us as an Indiana kid was out front uh, at a race here at uh, Indianapolis, and uh, we were awfully proud of that performance uh, by Connor. And the guy in the middle, just a little bit of a backdrop here, uh, for those of you who are great racing fans like Mr. Coyne is, know that in years past, if you were the IndyCar champion, the champion of the championship trail, the following year you would carry number one on your race car. Where there is only one numero uno yeah. in Indiana, and that is Pat McAfee, who is an outstanding Pro Bowl quality punter and kicker and budding and successful stand-up comedian uh, here in the area. Pat, we're delighted that you have joined us here at the United Motor Speedway. Uh, we know that you got a very special announcement. Yeah, today is a gigantic day in history. <laughs> okay? Jot this one down in the books. This morning started out normal, but when I go to sleep tonight, nothing will be the same. This morning when I woke up, I had a nice, large piece of apple pie. That's what Dale Coyne and I do. Right, Dale? Yep. <laughs> Connor? Yep. I'm now, in. Connor couldn't do it because he's got practice. I chugged a nice, tall Budweiser, okay? <laughs> Took a shower, brushed my teeth with freedom, and what we're doing here today is to announce that good friend of mine, Connor Daly and Dale Coyne, and I have teamed up for the 100th running of the Indy 500. Hootie's going to sing the national anthem. <laughs> Celebrities are going to be flocking in from all over the world. And in a suite somewhere who's going to be pulling really hard for Connor Daly is myself, my team, and shirtsforamerica.com, which is a business that just started literally three days ago. <laughs> this is an exciting time for myself, uh, Connor, and Dale seems really elated. Uh, I just gave him a check. And uh, this is going to be a really fun thing, but on a serious note... Um, Connor Daly and I have been friends for a while. We've had cocktails together. We've chit-chatted about life together. I've beat him in Mario Kart. That's true. And I found that to be a pretty stupendous thing. <laughs> he, we then go-kart uh, raced. I did not beat him. Um, <laughs> and then I came out to the track, obviously, last week and watched an Indianapolis kid, an Indiana kid, lead 14 laps in the Angie's List Grand Prix <laughs> right here at the majestic Indianapolis Motor Speedway. And when I started chatting with him about who his primary sponsor was going to be for the Indy 500, he told me he didn't have one yet. And myself and my team saw this as an opportunity, not only to get an Indianapolis kid in the 100th running, a legendary Indy 500, but a chance to raise some money for some military foundations as well. So shirtsforamerica.com was created on the premise that we're going to get this kid in the race to win. We are going to celebrate in Victory Lane by chugging 10 bottles of milk. And we're going to raise money for military foundations while doing so. And uh, I'm so excited for today to happen, and I can't wait for the race to start. Dale, you got anything? No, I think he, got, he covered it. That's his job. <laughs> That's why he wears number one. That's good. Yeah. We don't... No. We will now take questions. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we will. Sean Latham just walked in, stand-up comedian from California, <laughs> member of the team, shirtsforamerica.com team. Shirts. Hasn't shaved for a couple of years. Good hair. <laughs> no, but I just want to say, I mean, this is obviously really cool for us. Um, you know, we uh, are, are kind of... Our, our program, you know, we were obviously in for this season, but we had a, a gap here at the 500 that we had to fill, and, um, you know, it's been really difficult to, to put, you know, the whole program together, but Pat came on board, and, and this is actually, like, it's a really cool idea, and it's a really cool thing that he's created here, and I think, um, you know, to raise money uh, for, you know, for, for veterans and, and military families is, uh, is something that kind of this whole race weekend, you know, the, the, our, our Indianapolis 500 race weekend is all about as well. So it's, it's really cool to, you know, I'm a, I'm a proud American. Pat's a tremendous American. Oh, so, that. you know, we're going to have a great time representing America during this whole, uh, this whole month. So, you know, I can't thank him enough for coming on board. And you guys haven't seen the, the what is it, the mock-up? Is that what it's called? The car, the, yeah. The, the mock-up of the car is a car that if you're from Maine or you're from Florida, <laughs> or from Southern California, or the northern tip of Washington, and all the towns in between. And you're a kid, or you're an adult, or you're the elderly. This is a majestic <laughs> American vehicle that yes. you're going to be pulling for from start to finish, all 500 miles. And uh, <laughs> we just want something that people can be proud of. Uh, and to be honest, 
Babe Ruth called his shot. Broadway Joe called his shot. And this is me putting my money on the guy that I'm guaranteeing a win for. And that might be a lot of pressure for Connor, but I don't really give a damn because I don't have to drive a car. Uh, So I'm excited. I think Connor is an incredible talent. I think anybody that knows driving knows that Connor is an incredible talent. And this is just an incredible opportunity that could happen. And uh, I'm so excited to be a part of it. And this is going to be, it's the 100th running. And when you come to Indiana, I was born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, where IndyCar is not large. It's not big. And as soon as you get to Indiana, you just quickly find out the deep tradition of racing. And my first year, I was in the snake pit. Um, I didn't see many cars, Dale. Yeah. Dale, I had no idea. I saw you saw things we didn't see, though. Dale, I had no idea you even existed, though, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> I think and then, was born there. As the years passed, you might have been conceived there, Dale. I don't know. <laughs> as the years passed... I continued to grow in my respect for racing. I got a chance to meet these guys. And then it was two years ago, I sat in turn one and actually got a chance to watch the action. And I found out quickly why people love this sport. And the people at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway have been nothing but class, uh, first class organization. Uh, And I've just been lucky to be associated with these people. And although I beat him in Mario Kart, he's going to win the Indy 500. (laughs) And you can go ahead and quote it. (laughs) Thanks, pal. Then we'll have a rematch afterwards. You don't want that. But I'll tell you what, you win, you win, and I get a chance to be in victory lane ever. You can do whatever the hell you want to me, Connor, and you can quote that one, too. Uh, Sounds great. Dale, you come in with a lot of momentum, obviously, after the Angeles Grand Prix. This seems like another additional shot in the arm for your team. No, we're very happy uh, with the whole program. I mean, it's it's kind of cause marketing, right? And that's what, you know, we've got three of our four cars. We've got uh, the Breast Foundation with Cohen. We've got the Boy Scouts of America now to have this. For the, for the veterans out there, that's, that's a fantastic thing for us. Fantastic. Susie's on one side. I'm on the other. Questions for this uh, trio? Pat, what veterans group in uh, particular will benefit from your shirt sales? So the two foundations that will benefit from this are Indiana uh, Veteran Groups, which is Wish for Our Heroes, which is a group I do a lot of work for. Uh, They're a foundation founded by vets who help struggling vets in their day-to-day operations, their day-to-day life. Everything from diapers to mortgage repayments to credit uh, credit problems. And then my foundation, the Pat McAfee Foundation, And uh, we've given over $150,000 in scholarships in the last three years to children and military families. And every dollar that goes to both of these foundations goes strictly to the vets. There's no money taken. Everybody's a volunteer. Uh, So we have two really good foundations taking money here and two Indiana foundations that are going to reap the benefits of this. And um, it was really just a perfect opportunity. I I saw it. It was just a perfect opportunity that just showed up, literally just showed up because of a conversation he and I had. <laughs> and uh, it should be really cool. And I think the shirts on, at shirtsforamerica.com uh, are shirts that, although they are comical, you know, <laughs> although they are, are quite comical, and they've been created here in the last couple hours. <laughs> <laughs> they are shirts that will quench the thirst of patriotism oh, that yeah. people have deep in the pit of their stomachs. <laughs> the ones that you heard about whenever you were born. You know, that, that, that this is the country where people come uh, to make great things happen and to chase their dreams. You can be an Irish fella who drives a car in America and in Indiana and in Indianapolis is the place to come chase your dream. And in the past 20 years, there's only been five American winners at the Indy 500. And I think at the 100th running, it'd be great to get number six, especially a kid from Indiana. And um, that's what we're all about. <laughs> That was Dale. really awesome. That was a good. That was, <laughs> that was good. Yeah. That was all just a rip. I felt good about that. Yeah, wow. I mean, d- deep down in there, I'm. It, yeah, that touched my soul. That was good. I like that car. Dale, <laughs> Dale uh, back when you were driving, do you ever dream in a lifetime you come up with a sponsor like this? <laughs> no. Well, I mean, we had a great relationship with Walter Payton, so we, we you know, we. Oh, look. Hey, Dale. Walter Payton. <laughs> Pat McAfee. <laughs> Let's make sure we keep those separate. At least you're, in different, you're in different, you know, special teams. And yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, different. That's everything, all right. Really. You can be mentioned with him. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, no, it's, it's, been, it's a great honor. Pat, over here on this side. Uh, yep, you correct. talked about the, the nice check that, that came with this. I saw your tweet this morning, by the way. Good, good, little, good little promo there. Good little <laughs> trying to help you out. Yeah, I appreciate that. So... If this is a foundation project, is this some of your money that's that's in this check? Yeah, so I'm the one that's, 
I've started the company. It's yeah. I mean, this is uh, me starting the company, me launching the company, um, and then. We, we, I have a team of people that I have to pay that work for me, which is their life is even more ridiculous than <laughs> Dale's right now. Uh, but the, the amount of money, whenever people buy this shirt, each shirt is $18. And the amount of money that people have going to that shirt, they should feel really good that uh, now it's $10 per shirt. We're making 8 bucks. I think $4 from what we make is going straight. So 50% of what we're making is going right to the foundation. The other money is going to the idiots that chose to work for me. <laughs> and uh, the, basically, the rest of it, we're just going to have a good month of May here. Because there's no city in the world that has a better month than the month of May in Indianapolis, in Indiana. It's just, this is the place you wanna be. Everything from Angie's List to all these parties that are coming, Maxim's gonna be here. I don't even know what that means, but I can't <laughs> wait to see what happens. And uh, from the parade to the festival uh, to the tradition, this is just uh, something that I'm honored to be a part of. And to be honest, this I don't think my money's ever been better spent. Pat, can I order the first 100 shirts? You can, officially. Well, I don't know right how many now. we have, but yeah, you can. <laughs> I, I, that guy works for me right next to you, and he said, yeah, no problem. Yeah, you can, I, we'll deliver them to your house. I want the first 100 shirts. Okay. Um, I commend you on the national pride angle. I, I think it's sorely missed in IndyCar. Good for you. Now, dare I ask, might you have an active role on race day behind the wall? <laughs> so here's the deal. <laughs> Ever since I was 21 years old, I've been in Indianapolis. <laughs> I couldn't tell you one Indy 500 I was sober for, <laughs> and that's going to continue this year. <laughs> so you're, you're the fueler then. I am not touching anything. <laughs> I am going to be in a suite with my friends. We have a horse in the race now that we will be pulling hard for. This will be like the Kentucky Derby of all Kentucky Derbies here. <laughs> this is our American Pharaoh that we're pulling for right here. And we're hoping to pull the what triple an crown. Honor. Yeah, you're the, an you're the American Pharaoh horse. Hey, yo. Uh, but no, I do not know anything about racing. Uh, I know that the cars, if you're a good driver and you have a good car and you have a good team, like Dale has put together, and a good driver here, you have a great chance. And that's what we're going to do. And I'm just going to, he's going to hear me. <laughs> Connor's going to hear me. I promise you that. He's going to hear my people. My dad's probably going to be up there in some overalls and a, t a shirts from America.com shirt. And we're just going to be pulling hard as hell for Connor Daly. <laughs> Stop um, it. Keep it together. This is serious. It's the greatest Pat, thing ever. what um, kind of inspired you to want to help out the veteran cause with this foundation and whatnot? Well, so ever since I was a rookie, the Colts do a fantastic job of kind of introducing you to the community. And we have Community Tuesdays, and each week you go to something different. And I was at Riley Hospital, which is a fantastic place, and I got a chance to do Homes for Humanity and all these things. And then one week I got a chance to meet up with the vets, and uh, I went down to Camp Atterbury and uh, got a chance to meet these guys who are about to get shipped out, guys and girls who are about to get shipped out. And once you get a chance to hear their stories and chit chat with these people and realize that these are men and women who sign a line understanding that they might lose their life to protect our country, um, I just couldn't help but be drawn towards that. And my, one of my brother's best friends growing up, he joined the army and got a discharge after shrapnel hit him. Uh, and once you start putting all these things together in my mind, it was just an easy fit for me to kind of get in with it. And it doesn't matter if you're for the war, against the war, what your beliefs are. You have to pull for the people that are out there fighting for us. Um, and that's just, I, I've kind of always been into it. And th like I said, this just seemed to be a perfect opportunity to continue the help. And uh, we're lucky to do so. Uh, Connor, um, over here. It's your <laughs> this side. Oh, hey. So what did you learn from Pat uh, and Mario Kart that you can use on uh, for the 500? Tell them, man. Well, Tell them. He's got a consistency that's uh, pretty impressive. We did. We didn't just do one race. It was a full championship, right? So, um, it's I may a Star have, Cup. Uh, yeah, I may have won one of those races, but he won the rest, and and that was that was you know it's all about consistency, and we're gonna start that today in practice by hopefully actually getting out on track today, and uh, we're gonna keep working on our car because I mean Pat's cart was probably superior to mine. I think he got more items than I did, so. I had Yoshi, he had Donkey Kong. That yeah. was a stupid yeah. decision. By Weight him. advantage, yeah. That was a stupid decision. It was. Him. So I've learned from my decision making, really. That's, that's our, our biggest, uh, you know, I'm going to be a smart decision maker in the race. I can't believe you flipped that into a real answer. <laughs> Good for you, Connor. <laughs> Spells, what's up, man? I got a question. Do you all have a celebratory shirt that you will wear should Connor win the 500, something we'll only see in victory lane? 
That's a great idea, Spills. Um, yeah, think- I'm sure we do, but boy, you're only going to see it in Victory Lane. Ain't that right, Connor? Oh, yeah. For sure. That means no. We haven't thought of that yet. <laughs> hey, but that's a really good no, idea. We need to use the one that's our head as an eagle. Yeah, well, that's a, it right there. That that shirt I think could be used for all people that want to support you and the cause. Okay, here. yeah, that's true. We also have a shirt that says uh, it has Uncle Sam on top, drinking either a root beer or a real beer, depending <laughs> on your age. Yeah, and it says 500 American miles of awesome. Yeah, and I think that's probably going to be the one I'm wearing on race day. Uh, so that's the one you're going to see probably in Victory Lane when the milk is just getting dumped all over the Indiana kid, Connor Daly. It's going to be a great day. God, it's going to be a great night. <laughs> <laughs> Today, Connor. <laughs> Other questions? Thank you so much. I've been racing. doing this for about two decades. I thought James Hinchcliffe was a handful. I was dead wrong. We'll see you guys. <laughs> I appreciate that. We're going to uh, beat one, him. <laughs> one final thing. One final thing. For all of you people who are around this all the time, I want to let you know this. The people that run the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, from the president, handsome Doug Bowles, all the way down to the beautiful media lady, Susie, uh, this is a first-class operation, and we're all very lucky to be a part of it. And the fact that I'm even allowed to do this, and I think they are going to regulate me pretty strong on the things I'm allowed to do and what I'm not allowed to do, is a complete honor. And I want people to know that I am very honored to be a part of this. Uh, although we're, we're making this a very light event, this is incredibly huge. I understand that. Uh, and I'm just excited to be here. So thank you all so much for coming, and we'll see you in Victory Lane. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Pat. Absolutely. Absolutely. Good work, guys. Good work, team.